Hey guys, I want to go over a few things on this new Strike Series bass boat that, that we are building at Gator Tracks. This particular rig that we're going to show you some pictures of here in a minute on this video is a 20 footer, 72 inch bottom, it's got about a 95 inch beam on it, 250 Pro XS on the back, loaded out with most everything you're going to want on a bass boat from electronics to power poles to hydraulic this, hydraulic that, it's got just about everything. But let me show you a few of the standard features on a Gator Track uh, Strike Series bass boat. First of all, this bench that I'm sitting on here is an integrated 50 gallon fuel cell. So it'll truly hold 50 gallons of fuel for the tournament fisherman that has to make long rides. And on top, you can come around back here with the camera and see you've got some small storage boxes underneath here. There's not a lot of room, but some things for sunscreen, wallet, keys, cell phone, things like that underneath each seat. Here you have a double live well. So it's set up for tournament fishing. Two live wells. Got a divider in the middle so you can get your fish on one side, the partners on the other side. Pretty standard for most bass boats that you need for uh, tournament fishing. One of the cool things I like about the back deck of these Strike Series boats is access. You've got so much access on them. This, this one, when it opens up, you can show the camera down inside there. It's just a nice storage box inside there. But if you grab this and lift it up out of the way, now you can access battery chargers, batteries, power pole pumps, whatever is underneath uh, this storage shed, uh, storage box on this side. It just simply goes back down inside here, and it's dry. That's all dry storage inside there. You come back here on this other side. Down inside here, you can access bilge pumps, live well fittings, oil, power pole pumps from this side, battery. Very easy to access this. Same thing on this side. Nice big storage box on this side. Lift the tray out, access battery on this side, the front side of the power pole pumps right here, wiring harnesses. When you put this tray back in and shut the lid, you got a dry storage box. Pop up cleats. All the way around, stainless steel pop-up cleats. Uh, you've got a tilt helm on the steering wheel. Hot foot down there and a place to put your left foot to push up on when you're hitting waves. Got a 9-inch Lowrance HDS in the dash. Got the Vessel View Mercury gauge right there as well, digital color. Uh, and your power pole remote. And plenty of room, as you can see here on this portion for anything else that you may want. A lot of these guys also like to couple uh, analog gauges with their digital gauges as well so they can see more information at one time. Coming up on the front deck right here, this step that we have is also an insulated live well, uh, uh, ice chest, I'm sorry. So the lid, as you can see, the lid is insulated and the box is insulated all the way around. It's got a drain plug goes out through the bottom so you can get every bit of water out of it and you can see the size of this thing as it relates to my hand down in here plenty of room you could put three 24 packs of cokes inside this thing on the front deck tons of storage man two big boxes there two eight and a half foot rod lockers Down inside these rod lockers, they got, I know it's dark and there's shadows in this video. It's not very good quality, but you guys can get the gist. That goes way up inside on both sides. You can put all the rods you own in one of these things. It's deep. It's super deep, super wide. I could actually, fizz, I'm six foot tall, 205 pounds. I can get in there and shut the lid, no problem. Got shocks on all the main compartments in the front. Storage box here. Big area, dry storage, all dry. Same thing right here. Huge compartment. So, up in the front, recessed trolling motor foot pa uh, plate, 
if you want that. Some of the guys now are not getting that recessed trolling motor tray because they're using uh, the digital trolling motors and the foot is so, uh, so low profile that they don't need that. But if you want it, if you're using a more traditional bass fishing trolling motor like the Fortrex Minn Kota or something like that, that has that type of foot pedal, we obviously, we offer that. Then up front right there where the trolling motor plugs in, there's also a switch there for the trim in the front. We also can fit them with uh, switches for the live well to operate there as well. So this is just a good quick overview of the Strike Series bass boat. If we build 10 of these things, nine of them are rigged this way. The only other difference you might would see would be a second console bolted right there. We make our consoles, the passenger side consoles, to bolt in and out. So this is it. I'm going to give the camera back to Greg. You can give him a good overview of the boat. Plenty of deck space, guys. I mean, this boat's got so much deck space up in the front. It's nice and wide to walk around. Got a hydraulic jack plate, 10 inch Atlas jack plate, two power poles. We sell anything you want. Lawrence, Minn Kota, Garmin, Ray Marine, power pole, Talon, uh, Hummingbird, Motor Guide, Minn Kota. We sell it all. Boats are what we specialize in and this is a really nice one. A really nice one. Just wanted to showcase it for you guys. Thanks a lot.